So to replace the roof aerial, first thing we need to do is take out the light. So to take out the interior light, there are just two metal push tabs on the side there. You just push those in and then that will pull the light out. And then underneath, you've just got one connection there and then some other connections here, which are in the van. So here we have the other van connections for the light there. So you just need to unpick those with either a flat blade screwdriver or a thin pick. That then will lead us up to where we need to undo the nut there. So we've got a further two connections here, which are for the aerial. So we've got the purple wire there and then the black wire. So they just unplug quickly. Then you've got this nut here, which you undo and pull the aerial off. So once you've pulled the aerial off, it will look something like this. So you can then clean or wear the surround of the aerial sits. So all of this piece on the van there, just get that nice and clean. Make sure that the new the new aerial like we have here will then sit nicely on there. So you want to peel these sections off. These just uncover the bit of foam here. So just peel those off like that. And then what I like to do as well is unscrew that nut and then just run a bit of sealant around the edge. So once you've unpeeled the foam on there, you can just run a bit of sealant all around the base of that square section there. And then when that pushes back into the van, you can then do that up and that should seal anything from there. You've also got this foam base as well. The nut then sits like that with the wires poking out of the back there. And there's a little tag in there just to stop this aerial spinning like that when you're doing that nut up, which you've just got there. So we'll pop that back in place. So we've now just popped that back in place. As you can see, we've got a little bit of sealant there that we just need to clean up. We've also got the wire in there, which we've plugged back in up there.